While the work wrapped up midsummer, the town of Huntsville and the District of Muskoka met today in downtown Huntsville to officially cut the ribbon on the streetscape project, calling it completed. The joint project required a lot of working together between various groups, but the town of Huntsville operations manager Tarmo Kivi says it was almost seamless working as a group. And it was a partnership among two municipalities in terms of the district of Muskoka as well as the town of Huntsville. But the partnership extends beyond that to community partners like the BIA, um, to the residents in the downtown area, uh, to the visitors, but also to the contractors and the engineering firms that were a uh, part of this program. Yukivi, who came on with the town of Huntsville earlier this year, was thrown into the project halfway through completion, but he says it wasn't difficult to take over. The path was paved for me um, all the way through. The team was really well prepared, brought me up to speed very, very quickly. But that's a testament to the work that they do here every day. It's on this project, while it's a very large one and it's a beautiful outcome for the town of Huntsville, um, is not the you know the only thing that the, the team does here. Uh, really, truly, this is the effort they put in every day, and they keep me up to speed and, and up to date. On the district side, Director of Engineering and Transportation Mark Misko says while there may have been a few hiccups, this project couldn't have gone better. So a lot of heavy lifting up front and uh, you know we tried to accelerate it as much as we could knowing we were impacting essentially the entire downtown core at some point with this construction. Um, tried to keep our deadlines as tight as possible and I think we did, we did a great job doing that. We came out uh, about a month later than we wanted to but on a two-year project uh, of construction of two years I think that's a, a pretty pretty substantial accomplishment so uh, you know happy with the product of the downtown core hopefully everybody gets to enjoy it and, and come out and uh, be part of this new streetscaping plan we've got through here. Misko says with more streetscape projects coming up in other municipalities they can use the lessons learned mentality from Huntsville's project to ensure more timely work. We'll be taking anything, uh, any of the feedback we've got throughout this project on challenges that were occurred or, or things we encountered during construction uh, that we didn't anticipate. Um, some of the water servicing, we've got no, uh, no, no property line, it's right at the building fronts here. So we had to figure out how to make that connection sound and proper um, and we were able to solve that on this one but that's a lesson learned moving forward into the next one. So uh, it's always an opportunity to learn uh, anytime we do work like this and we'll be applying that to future jobs as well. Back in Huntsville, the look of the new downtown won't be kept there as the town has plans to extend it into other parts of the town proper. So we have a, an approved um, plan for the urban look and this is the downtown area of Huntsville. Um, any of the major infrastructure projects that we're doing where we're doing a road rebuild and rehabilitation of sidewalks, it will have a similar look and feel. Not exactly the same, but the lamp posts, for example, will all be the same, same look and feel as the downtown. We wouldn't be doing the streetscape to the same extent as we have downtown, but beyond that, it, the idea is to make it look like one a continuous urban core.